this book is a turquoise book as you can see it's got the turquoise spine and this is the type of text that we would expect children to be reading by the time they're at the end of year one so either turquoise or purple is where we're, we're looking for the children to be reading and this book is a uh, fiction and it's called Corker the Mighty Elf so we talk a little bit about the, the story and looking at the picture so here is Corker and he is an elf and it's going to be a story about what makes him mighty what the word mighty means and in the back again we've got the blurb before we start to read and it says Corker is a very small elf with big ideas when a big troll squashes all the houses in the village Corker knows just what to do so this story is going to be an exciting story all about Corker the mighty elf and when the children would, do, would be reading this we'd start them off by they would read the book to themselves and have a look through and have a go at decoding the, the words okay so they would read through first of all we'd have a look to see if there's any words that we think that they might not understand but these words tend to be words that are in set one set two set three sounds so by the time the children are reading these books they should have mainly read understood all of those sounds so let's have a go at reading the book corker was a very small elf he was smaller than all the elves on elf hill corker always wanted to help the big elves you're too small to help us said one of the big elves just go home that night, a big, bad troll came to Elf Hill. The troll jumped on the elf houses and squashed them. The elves ran away into the wood. And we talk about how the elves were feeling in here. So they might be terrified, they might be scared. So words that mean that they're frightened. Why were they frightened? They were frightened because that big, bad troll had come. And was jumping all over their houses and we talk about the way that we read this we would emphasize these words because they're in bold. Corker was in bed asleep he was dreaming in his dream he was Corker the mighty knight saving his people from fright so he was having a dream. Suddenly Corker heard a loud crash. He opened his eyes and saw a big troll foot. Corker's bed was stuck on the troll's foot. We might talk a little bit about how Corker's feeling at this point in the story. Then the troll ran back to his cave. Corker jumped off the troll's foot. <gasps> I'm glad the troll didn't see me, said Corker. When the troll got back to the troll cave, he boasted to the other trolls. I jumped on the elf houses and I squashed them, he laughed. We want to do it too, said all the other trolls. Corker was hiding in the cave. He heard what the troll said. Oh, no, said Corker, I must stop the trolls. So then we could talk about what he might do. Corker didn't know what to do. Then he had an idea. When the trolls were not looking, he took some soap and a long pipe. Corker put the soap into the troll's stew. It made lots of bubbles. The trolls ate the stew. It made them feel sick. They moaned and they groaned and they had to lie down. Corker stood in front of the fire. His shadow was very tall. Then he took the pipe and said, I am Corker, the mighty elf. Corker's voice was very loud. The trolls were very scared. They screamed and they squealed and they all ran away. 
The elves saw the trolls running away and they came out of the wood. The elves were proud of Corker. Thank you, they said. You may be the smallest elf, but you are the mightiest elf of all. And they've got a sign saying Corker, the mighty elf. So once you've read the book with the children, I would suggest that they would need to read it to decode and then again for fluency and then you'd look at the book and talk about the things that you've read about to see if the child's understood. So first of all you might ask why those words are getting bigger and it's because they're trying to emphasise that this character here, the big bad troll, is really scary. What was Corker doing when the troll first came? He was asleep and he was dreaming about being really brave. You might talk about how he's feeling at a different point of the story. So for instance, how was the troll feeling here? I jumped on the elf houses and I squashed them, he laughed. He was really pleased with himself. He wasn't a nice character, was he? But then the other trolls want to do it and Corker decides to make a plan. He was going to try and stop them. He had an idea. Why did it make a lot of bubbles? Because he was using soap and the children should know that soap makes lots of bubbles. Can they find two words on this page that rhyme? So they're looking for something that rhymes. So you get them to reread it. The trolls ate the stew. It made them feel sick. They moaned and they groaned and they had to lie down. So the two words that rhyme are moaned and groaned. Why did they feel sick? Because they were having soap for their dinner. And here he is. Why is that writing so big? When he took the pipe and he said, I am Corker the Mighty Elf. It's because the, re the author wants the child to read in a loud, deep voice. How do we know they were frightened? Because they screamed and they squealed and they all ran away. So we know they were frightened. It doesn't say they were frightened, but it does tell you that they screamed and they squealed and they ran away. So there's three clues there that those um, trolls were frightened. One of the questions could be, how did the other elves change their mind about Corker from the start of the story to the end? So at the start of the story, they thought he was too small to help. But by the end of the story, they thought he was the mightiest elf of all. So they thought he was the bravest elf. So they changed their viewpoint throughout the story. So by the time you get into turquoise books, you're asking basic retrieval questions, find the answer, but you're also finding uh, inferential questions. So what in the story gives you clues to how people are feeling or actions they did. So again, the comprehension gets a little bit harder for the child.